Dave McMahon and ESPN. Ty, on your last defensive possession, it seemed like Iman and JR ended up both following. I think it was Crowder. Mm -hmm. um, and then Avery got open. What, what happened with you guys d defensive execution-wise? Well, coming out was going to switch, you know, one through five. They ran like a point loop action, I call it, and um, Crowder curled, and then, you know, the switch got confusing, but uh, we didn't get a chance to switch out. And then Horford did a good job of penetrating in, so he couldn't get out to the shooter. Ty, Kenny wrote at WHBC. Before the game, I asked you about protecting big leads in the, the third quarter. And you, you jinxed us. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, what happened? You're up 21 in the third, and you don't protect it, and you end up losing. Turnovers, um, turning the basketball over, um, offensive rebounds. You know, we had some stops at times and couldn't rebound the basketball, but, you know, a lot of fourth quarter turnovers that, you know, gave them life. And LeBron's been so good in the playoffs tonight, only 11 points. Was it something they did or just an off night for LeBron? I mean, he's human, so he's going to have a night like this. And um, he didn't shoot the ball well. And we still had a, you know, 20-point lead. And um, a game we should have won, but, you know, um, they played hard. They scrapped. They have a scrappy team. We knew that coming into tonight. Um, knew it wouldn't be easy, but um, – you know, we've got some things we can correct and then come back ready to go on Tuesday. Athletic, you guys have had problems during the regular season when teams, their best players go out and you don't probably play as well as maybe you think that you would in that situation. Did this feel like a regular season game for a variety of reasons? It kind of felt like what you guys struggled with at times during the regular season. Um, it felt that way early. Then we jumped out to the, to the 16-point lead at halftime, and I thought early in the third quarter we really, you know, Started playing decent, you know, and then it just kind of was a snowball effect. We had a few turnovers. Um, Marcus Smart made seven threes tonight, you know. So, um, you know, I just didn't think phys physically we were, you know, um, as physical as we needed to be defensively. And they got some open shots, moved around freely, and, um, you know, they made a game of it. And then down the stretch, they made a big shot. Com. We talked before the game um, about defensive schemes with Isaiah out, and you said that it didn't change much. Um, why were the Celtics able to be so successful against, I, I guess, your same defensive plan without their best guy? I don't know. Marla Ryden, our Akron Beacon Journal. Um, you hit 14 threes, I think, in the first half, but they ended up with more. Do you think you guys got comfortable because the, of the way that was going? Um, I don't know about comfortable, but, you know, only making two threes in the second half, you know, scoring 21 on third and 21 on the fourth, you know, that's not us offensively. So, um, you know, not shooting the basketball well, not scoring well. I mean, it happens, but when that happens, you got to be able to get stops, especially being up 20 points. Ty, when teams have big leads, it seems like the only way the other team can really get back in is get hot from beyond the arc. I don't know if that's something, if there's a, a trend or analytics, you break that down. Is that something you talk to your guys about taking away the, the arc because it's really the only way they can get back in if you're up 20 or something like that? Well, you know, Smart got hot. He made seven threes, you know, made a couple of deep threes. And then I thought I got some threes off of offensive rebounds, you know, we're Collapse and trying to rebound the ball. We don't get it. Kick out three. So um, that's one way to get back in the game. But, you know, with that being said, you know, we still got to be better, you know, rebound the basketball, be better defensively, and also taking care of the basketball.